It is not just up-and-coming artists who are taking sides in the independence debate. Mogwai have been on the music scene for almost 20 years. Most recently providing the soundtrack to the hit Channel 4 series, The Returned. Well, earlier I spoke to the band's singer and guitarist, Stuart Braithwaite, a pro-independence campaigner, and I asked him how the arts community in Scotland is responding to all this soul-searching. I think it's quite an exciting time. I think that quite a lot of um, people involved in the arts in Scotland see it as a big opportunity, and I think you can kind of feel something bubbling under the surface. There's definitely quite a sort of rising tide of um, optimism, and I think that that's shown itself in the arts. An optimism leading towards independence, do you think, or optimism that Scotland is taking control of its future with whatever decision it makes? Well, from my point of view, it's towards independence, but I think that just generally Scotland kind of taking a bit more control of itself has got to be a good thing. I think that um, for too long, Scotland's kind of been the, the lodger, and I think that that's, that looks like it's going to change. It's really noticeable how many big Scottish cultural figures have come out in favour of independence and how few, if any, are sticking up for the Union, while at the same time polls show us that that's not the way the Scottish public are thinking about this. Why do you think artists and people in the creative industries seem to be so much more in favour of independence than the rest of the country? I think when you make art or you make music, you do it from a point of view that you want to make things better. And I think that people in the arts and more and more people in general see Scotland becoming independent as a way of making the country better. So I think that those two are kind of married in that way. What do you think of the quality of the debate in general in Scotland? Some people have complained that the no campaign is just relentlessly negative, that the yes campaign mm -hmm. can feel a bit like petty nationalism sometimes, and that the really big issues that matter to Scotland as it makes this decision aren't really being debated. I think that that's fair comment, to be honest. I think that there is a lot of negativity from no, and I think that the Yes campaign has a bit of difficulty because some of the concrete answers aren't being given. They're not being given by Westminster and they're not being given by organisations like the EU. Whichever way the decision goes, there's going to be a large number of people in Scotland bitterly disappointed by the fact that they have lost. What impact is that going to have on the country in the years after the referendum, do you think? I have to be honest, I don't know. I mean, I, I hope whichever way it goes that the, the losing side just kind of take a deep breath and just get on with it. I think um, people are going to be disappointed, but whatever happens, we just have to just make sure that we live in the best country we can. And your prediction for what will happen in the referendum? I think it'll be close, but I think that yes, it's going to win. That would be quite a remarkable turnaround from where the polls are now. The thing is, though, when you phone people up and ask them, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to go and vote. If you look at the polls, the people who are definitely going to vote yes are definitely going to vote. And I think there's also a large amount of undecided voters. And I hear more and more people changing to yes and not very many people going to no. Stuart Braithwaite of Mogwai there.